Welcome to the fifth part of our Empower Synth introductory video series. This time we'll look at the filters in detail. As always, you can use the Smart Randomizer to get some inspiration. The two filters have identical setups. The signal runs in this order. Input drive, filter, saturation, output gain and clipper. The drive stage adds gain and generates harmonic distortion. You can control the character of the distortion as well. It's most obvious at extreme drive. Now to the heart of this section, the filter. There are literally dozens of filters to choose from. The well-established low pass, band pass, band stop and high pass, EQ type peak and shell filters, multimode, harmonics, formant, comb, diffuser and polymorph filters. You will notice that some filters have additional controls. For example, polymorph filters have gain and character control while others miss some controls, like the comb filter has no resonance control. The different filter types will cause different CPU load. You can adjust the quality setting in case you need it. Most of the parameters can be assigned to a dedicated envelope via the range controls. You can specify positive or negative ranges. You can also use a global modulator to act as a filter envelope, which then is not per voice but works uniformly on all notes playing at a time. You have custom control on when the envelope should trigger. Note though that the global modulators are rasterized and this may have a less exact response.
Notice also the difference between the filter envelope tremolo being per voice and the LFO being global. Filter frequency, resonance and the respective ranges can also be controlled by velocity or aftertouch. This is essential for expressive playing. You can also assign these parameters by note or use constant filter frequency. For example, if you have a sound that should be bright in the lower bass range but not too harsh in the upper octaves. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. See you all next time.